Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to the team over at TF Direct. Today we're taking a look at the second in the kind of legend uh, Beast Wars range from the guys at Transform Element. This is the MM02 Mice Warriors, aka Rat Trap. Quick look around the box. We've got the Interstellar logo there, exactly the same one as we have with Black Mamba and AO Mech. And then we have Rat Trap on the back there. We've got Transform Elements, Age of Six Plus, and a warning on the bottom there. That's about all as far as packaging goes. We're reviewing this one today as he got voted up the most on my YouTube poll for my recent unboxing video. I had this, the RC, Triplets, and Desert Brawl, and uh, Rat Trap won. Just, just, but we'll be reviewing all three, but this guy gets the proud spot of being reviewed first. Uh, got some asteroids heading down there, got a nice kind of tear through the packaging there, very much like what we've got with Beast Wars. But uh, without further ado, let's crack him open. And there we have him. Isn't he delightful? In this little bitty tiny plastic clamshell. And he's got both of his guns. He is diddly. And here we have him out of his plastic prison there. He looks fabulous. He's actually a lot tighter and secure than the Black Arachnia that they did. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the Black Arachnia figure. It was a really superb piece, albeit there was some parts forming involved. But uh, Rat Trap really does kind of excel. He's got super tight joints. I love those ankle tilts on him as well. He holds together remarkably well. And overall, he looks outstanding. He's got a nice kind of mix of plastics and die cast. He comes with the double gun. I actually get three guns in my packaging. Uh, this is a pre-production sample, so I'm not sure if we're meant to have three guns. I can't seem to peg the second gun into his left hand, but that may be something that I'm doing wrong. I'll just have to have a look. Uh, later on and see if there's something I can do to rectify that. But I'll show you that anyway when we take an in-depth look. But uh, he is a very highly poseable, highly detailed figure, especially considering he is a legend size figure. Uh, the colors are absolutely stunning. I just really wish that this was MP scale. He's a really small dude. Uh, he's more designed to actually scale with the original Beast Wars figures, or even someone like the Generation Beast Wars figures, uh, which he does look exceptionally good with, and he does pass, considering the character he plays. He's a rat, he does pass quite nicely with the MP Beast Wars line, but if you are a scale junkie, he is unfortunately coming up a little bit short. There's just so much character involved with this figure. It really is delightful. Really nice, clean paint applications. You see there's a big chunk of die cast in amongst that waste panel there. He's got his rat feet on the outside. We've got this pivoting tail piece on the back. Let's take a closer look at that head sculpt. I mean, we have those buck teeth there. He's got his uh, shiny metal scalp. It's good. Get it sculpt. I'm uh, pretty impressed with that. I love the rat nose just tucking in to that waist section there. It just pegs in around that crotch piece. Really nice and secure. Uh, these weapons, as you can see, they do peg in. We have two guns. They just tab in to one another. And this one just doesn't want to go into this hand. I may have to just sand down the inside of that hole. It just uh, doesn't quite tab in as I would like. But yeah, you get uh, one of the longer pistols, one of the shorter ones there. And then we also get a secondary shorter pistol as well with a slightly better paint apps on this one. So I think I've got double of the same there, but I cannot for the life of me get any of those into that hand so i think if i if i work it i probably could get it in there i'm just more concerned that if i 
twist and twist and twist. It's not going to be the hand that gives it. It's going to be the uh, handle of the guns. But genuinely very impressed with that sculpt there. The head is mounted on a ball. So we can look up, down, left, and right. God, we're zoomed in so far. Considering that's my fingernail, look. <laughs> Uh, best watch this in uh, 4K at 60 frames per second, I'd imagine, just so you can see the clarity. Uh, we've got uh, a uh, up and down on the shoulders. We've got a rotation on the shoulder as well. There is a ball socket in there. So we've got a bit of a twist. There's a ball socket on the elbow. Everything's super, super tight. Uh, but because it's tight, I do have a tendency to untab that crotch panel it just keeps kind of popping off because i keep bending and twisting those arm joints uh, the hands are in a fixed position i would like the wrist rotation on there but i think just because of the size that may be incredibly difficult to do legs and come forwards backwards out to the side upper thigh rotation in there as well as a ball socket so we have a ball and a mushroom again the mushroom pegs there are incredibly tight Got a nice bend on that knee, up and down on those ankles, and we do have a really nice ankle rocker as well, which really does help when posing rat trap. Uh, it's a good looking figure. Give you a quick idea of scale. Here he is alongside the MP, Primal, and Cheetor. See, he's coming up rather short there, isn't he? I still can't believe my primal broke he just literally sheared in half his legs just kind of now detach it all comes away uh, that's not it's not good is it but there you go see he's probably far too short there i think uh, in bot mode he should come up to around primal's chest there but you know if we bring in generations rhinox they're still a fantastic figure by the way yeah. still would have loved somebody just to oversize rhinox uh, it's actually design wise it's pretty darn spot on I didn't really need to do a lot more with it. But anyway, um, I'm digressing. Scale-wise, I think he actually looks pretty decent with Rhinox, because Rhinox was a big guy. I think that works. I may have these displayed together, I think. I know we already got the Generations Rap Trap, which I no longer have. haven't had him for a very long time. Uh, but, you know, I think this works. Now, like most pre-production samples, I don't get any instructions, but I can't imagine... This guy is too difficult to transform, is he? Yeah, but no, I'm just, just so pleased with the sculpt. Really is remarkable. Uh, I should have the transform element Bumblebee coming. Uh, he sent over a sample to TF Direct. So TF Direct should send that on to us. So we can take a look at that as well. Again, much smaller than the kind of scale that people are used to. I think he's more designed to go with a standard leader as opposed to these really large primes that we're getting from the likes of Black Mamba and Toy World, etc. But for now, let's take a look at Rat Trap's transformation there. We have this waist connector, which just pegs his nose in like so. You see there's a smidge just underneath his nose that tabs in to his crotch and his waist can rotate it's on a swivel swivel here there we go and that's going to rotate around like so it's it's not the most complex transformation it's just knowing what order to do it in you can pretty much see where things are going to go they're going to flop down to the side his tail is going to rotate around to the back and that's going to tab in and cover that back section, rotate his little rat-like head around. Uh, the bottom jaw is going to untab like so. So it lifts this head up. That now frees up the space for us to fold his head in. This little panel then folds, revealing some more kind of flesh tone. Right then, uh, I think I've got this right. Uh, you want to make sure this mushroom peg is on the outside. And we're going to push the legs into this void, make sure the foot is facing upwards and we just want to work the legs down. There's not a great deal of room to work with here, it's quite a small little dude, but that just fits in. 
So they're now facing upwards and that's tabbed in there nicely. And you want to make sure that the ball joint on the shoulders is facing upwards like so. And that's going to allow these to come in. And then with this part facing upwards like so, they're going to sit just over the other side of those arms. Now in theory, yeah, I'm forgetting which hand's which now. I'm going to pick the hand where the gun doesn't fit, aren't I? Oh, right, there we go, that one's in there. That should, he says, there we go, look, we can fit the gun in his hand still. So it must be this one that, that doesn't fit in, does it? Yeah. But uh, you get the idea that uh, tucks away in there and it does indeed fit uh, the tail. It's going to come down and lock, holding that back section in. These are going to come down. And when you get those down, they're just going to push and slide. Again, on this side, bring this down on those rocking hinges, push and slide. And then this panel here is going to come in and just push and line up and let's just sort out his hands there we go <laughs> oh that's awesome and uh, there we have rat trap my lovelies absolutely adore how he looks uh, yes that's some panel forming right there but I adore him he is sublime. Uh, these don't clean up quite as nicely as I'd like. We've got lots of room underneath his underbelly there. Uh, I can't get the jaw to come down. I would have liked it if we could have moved his jaw down a little bit. But uh, it's got that kind of velvety felt-like feel to him that uh, some of the original Beast Wars figures had, which I like. And articulation-wise, uh, we have some movement on the hands and the feet, uh, the paws. That's about it, but that's Rat Trap. Still stand by my decision that he looks better with the Generations line than he does with the Maximals from the MP line. That being said, though, I mean, he does kind of look good, I guess. He's a big fat rat in comparison to Primal. And here he is with uh, Black Arachnia. Yes, I know her sheet section is actually downstairs in MP Black Arachnia's web because she was, she was climbing up and down on the web. That's how I had her displayed. But yeah, really liked Black Arachnia. I love what they did with her. But, 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 uh, this, I think, Rat Trap is the victor. Yeah, he's a, a nice, hefty guy. Definitely looks the part. Great little bit of engineering. Bit of classic Beast Wars panel forming, I think, and uh, enough posability, kind of bringing those Beast Wars figures in to the 21st century. There's also the, is it Transart, that do the KO Beast Wars figures, only slightly downscaled. Uh, might be worth me checking out them as well, because I know they've just done the likes of Primal, I guess, the original Primal, kind of scaled down a bit. It'd be interesting to see how they fare as well but for now yep this is transform element rat trap a very nice looking figure very funky little toy not the most complex to transform once you've done it a few times definitely need to fix the fact that i can't get that gun in that hand maybe I'll just get something in there like a little uh, cocktail stick or something just to pry it slightly or heat it up first before i put the gun in but uh, overall i'm pretty darn impressed and uh, make sure you tune in to my ko channel uh, ben's ko collectibles i'll leave a link at the end of this video i'll be sticking up the new black mamba desert brawl video up on there as well as the ai mech rcs which are uh, i've been informed repaints of the human alliance figures so those will be going up on the ko channel Everybody, please make sure you still stay safe in these really strange times. And for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.